Let's dive into the presentation, discussing five mistakes stopping you from a good night's sleep after your knee replacement. Mistake number one is poor pain control. Don't underestimate how important proper pain management is in your recovery. And why is this so important? Well, when your pain isn't managed properly, your body can't relax enough to fall asleep. Too often, people don't take their medications as prescribed, and they wait too long between doses, and their pain gets out of control. Knowing how often and how many pills to take and staying on track, especially in the first few days after your surgery, is essential in your recovery. Quick question for the group. What do you think a reasonable number for pain is after surgery on a zero to 10 scale? Place your answers in the chat box now. I see a huge variation in numbers. What you're aiming for after knee replacement is to keep your pain below about a six or a seven. Any number higher than a seven means that your pain is not well enough managed and that could directly affect your sleep as your pain is gonna stop you from getting that rest. Mistake number two, the wrong sleeping position. Have a peek at this photo here and tell me in the chat what you think this person's doing wrong with their resting position. I've got two things I want you to find. I'll start by telling you the recommended position. So after a knee replacement, you want to rest with your leg as straight as possible with your ankle higher than your knee and your knee higher than your hip. So I sort of gave away the answer there. In this photo, you see the person resting with their knee higher than their ankle and their knee is resting in a bent position. The other downside of this photo is that the person is in a recliner chair. And as you can imagine with a recliner chair, once they're resting, their hips are actually the low point and their body is probably a little bit upright. That means that all the fluid and swelling will pool in the hip area and not actually get cleared by your um, breathing muscles when you're resting flat. So here's what we do want. We want a straight leg position, not as high as the one where the physio is lifting that person's leg, but it's an example of ankle higher than knee and knee higher than hip. And for support, you want to find the shape that will allow the leg to rest as straight as possible. So here are a few suggestions on how to achieve that. Lay on your back with a pillow supporting the entire length of your leg. If you prefer to lay on your side, sleep with your non-operated side down and your new knee up on pillows in a neutral position. Try to avoid sleeping on your stomach as that will create too much pressure on the knee joint. So take a moment and think, how do you normally sleep? And is that still gonna work after your knee replacement? Mistake number three, poor sleep environment. This is where you wanna set yourself up for success before you even head off to bed. A good way to think about it is to create a sleep sanctuary. You want to eliminate noise, keep the temperature cool but comfortable, have a dark room, and have water and pain meds within reach. Sometimes this will mean you'll sleep in your own bed after surgery, or you may find a better location where you have easier access to a bathroom and will be less disturbed by others in your home. Mistake number four, poor sleep hygiene. Here are some things that can keep you up at night. Oops, I skipped a slide, let me go back. So what exactly is sleep hygiene? Hygiene, it's actually the habits or routines that promote restful sleep. Things that can help are limiting caffeine and alcohol intake, keeping to a regular schedule, 
calming and stress-reducing activities, and to limit screen time before bed. Now, take a minute and think, what do you already struggle with when you try to sleep? If you can address those factors now, your recovery after surgery will be that much easier. And finally, mistake number five, a lack of light exercise or activity throughout the day. The key here is that you wanna move enough to feel tired, but not exhausted. The benefits of light exercise are improved circulation, reduction in swelling, increased knee movement, and also reduced pain. Remember, pain is the number one problem that stops people from sleeping. So anything you can do that will help limit your pain is a good thing to focus on after your knee replacement. So here's a quick recap of those five mistakes. First off, sleep is essential during your cover recovery from a knee replacement. Avoiding these five common mistakes will get you that restful sleep. You need to focus on pain control, sleep position, sleep environment, sleep hygiene, and daily exercise. Implementing a few of these strategies tonight will allow you to get a good night's sleep that you so desperately deserve.